Well, hello, Gemini. So this is going to be your reading for January. <laughs> your general reading. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you'd like to know when the next reading will be posted. And if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below. And we'll be more than happy to get you scheduled in. If you would like these readings super early or the extended to anything that's on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, or this channel, you can check the description box below. And that's there too, all of those. And please know that this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, don't make it. You don't want those problems. Check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if you don't know what those are, there's a link in the description box for you to get those for free. Okay? Um, I do have your buddy in because I know somebody's going to say something about it. I'm listening to music. So, um, let's see. Gemini. You start off with self-love, which is very interesting. Um, this is about taking care of yourself. So, I feel like in January, there's a lot of... re in or investigating who you are and who you want to be there's a lot of getting vulnerable with yourself about you um your challenge is ooh this is interesting okay so your shadow energy is the cave the cave is about protection it's about being a certain way or doing a certain certain way of doing things um that you have been doing which is fine it's it's kept you safe yes but it only keeps you safe for so long um there's a need to integrate something new into the cave here's a good example it's like having a house or a home and you don't have a dining room table okay you never had a need for a dining room table never wanted it um, and then your life changes, um, and you're like, okay, so I have a boyfriend now or a girlfriend that has a child and they need the dining room table to sit at and eat so we can eat together, whatever. And you have to get a new dining room table for your house that you never had before. That's a change. It's a change to your dwelling space. It's a change to your home. It's a change to your life that you thought you didn't need or that you thought you didn't want. And it's good. It's something that's going to help you grow. It helps you get vulnerable with yourself and open yourself up to different things that you didn't know that you wanted or that you needed, but it's good for you. And I feel like that's what January is going to bring for you. You're still protected. Nothing is bad is going to happen to you. But at the same time, it's like you need to open up to or integrate new things in. But you have to be vulnerable with yourself in order to do that. You have to see a sense of grace in it and not think of it as something negative. Okay. So in your interpersonal relationships, we have self-respect. This is about knowing that knowing that you're worth something. Um, it's like you're worth the change. You're worth the vulnerability. You're worth opening up and, and seeing things differently. You're worth it. I feel like you don't want to do it. <laughs> But I feel like you're open to it. Like what has worked for you can have worked. I'm not saying that anything's a matter with what has worked for you. But there's always something new to bring into this. And then we have crystal ascension, which is your spiritual energy. And it's I am attuned to the universal wisdom of the energy of the crystal kingdom. Here's the thing with crystals. It's about being attuned to a certain energy. It doesn't change anything. It's just about the energy being around and you have to be willing to like accept it or whatever, okay? So like I said, you're protected where you are. You have good foundations. I feel like you've been through a lot. Like a lot has changed in your life. 
and it's just now it's time to be vulnerable like it worked it was fine how it was you you've balanced things you've gotten to a certain point and now it's about progressing forward it's about getting more it's about achieving more it's about expanding yeah so being attuned to the energy having a sense of respect for yourself okay attunes you to the energy of building integrating doing the hard work being excited about what's next okay so that's those that's your oracle cards <clears throat> so we have endless possibilities divine matrix and it is what it is interesting endless possibilities all that you have been through gemini and this is a lot there's been a lot of changes there's been breakups there's been um split ups for you there's been home changes there's been lots of things so um you know what you're capable of and you know what you can do doing it is the thing okay you got to start integrating it you got to start doing it What's interesting is when you start doing it, when you start integrating it, you'll start seeing the productivity in it all. You'll see what spirit is trying to show you, what that energy is trying to bring into your life. You'll see it, okay? Divine Matrix, as soon as you accept, as soon as you start doing, it's going to build new foundations. Those new foundations are going to sink in. So here's a good example. If you've been feeling like things are just, imbalance don't make sense it's like you don't feel like you're in control oh i lost my music hold on one second okay we're back <laughs> okay so um if you felt like you've been doing everything you're supposed to do but it's not clicking. It, it's it's not about things in your world not being right. It's about things just feel like it's not clicking. It doesn't make sense. Like, if I do this and this, how come I'm not doing... How come this isn't happening? I, 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 don't, I don't know how to explain it besides that. But as soon as you start opening up, as soon as you uh, make this change or integrate something new into your life i feel that that is being presented to you whether energetically or in real life i feel like all that's going to start to click it's like it it's something that's fully molded that you need to integrate like you have a home your home is fine but as soon as you get this table for the purpose of having family dinners it makes your personal relationships better or something like that it, it's it's like it all works together for your greater good but you just need to open up to something new okay it is what it is success is yours you don't want to change I, here's the thing you don't want to change you don't want to be vulnerable everything's fine the way that it was which everybody has been getting like especially air signs have been getting everything's fine the way it is why should i change but as soon as you do it you'll realize why you did it. That's that's the thing that's so funny. It's like, I can't tell you why you should do it, but when you do it, you're going to be like, I'm glad I did that. Okay? So, Gemini, let's get into your cards. We're going to be using the Haunted House Tarot right now for general readings. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, the Hair Font, the Fool, the Five of Cups. Ooh, Gemini, what's going on here? This is rough. Three of Wands, Two of Swords. Seven of Wands, High Priestess, and the Moon. Mm. Mm. 
On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. That's good. <laughs> the Hangman. The Ace of Pentacles. That's that opportunity for something new, something different. Two of Pentacles. Okay. So the Two of Pentacles tells me that you've been maintaining, you know, balancing things out. Things have been working for you. Um, notice that these are twins because I feel like it's, it's just been balancing for you. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm doing things differently, but it's still the things that I want to do. Okay. You're not like integrating something else that somebody wants you to do. You're still choosing to do the things you want to do. Okay. But it's balancing out for you. Um, so what's interesting is I feel like this is like working. You need to work with someone else. Uh, it's either someone else or the divine plan or universal energy or whatever it is. Something's being presented to you and you need to take that opportunity. Okay. Uh, I feel like with the hangman, you're a little bit hesitant. I don't feel like you want to change things. You might not even think that this is relevant. You know, you don't think you need the table. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, when you do it, you get this Ten of Cups. That's ultimate happiness. Um, it's it's what you always wanted anyway, but you've been trying to maintain this lifestyle of what you already had. You know, there's a sense of comfortability in what we already have. And we get scared that we're going to lose that comfortability if we try something different. Because that's what we know. But you have to open up to something new it changes your the whole thing is changing your perspective spiritual perspective that's exactly what the hangman is so you realize that something good's going to come out of it you know you just can't see it right now obviously because you haven't taken the risk okay so in your cards we have the four of cups the four of cups is all about you missing an opportunity based on your own emotions or feelings of something you may be calling it something different. You might not even be saying it that it's your emotions because it's right next to the hair font, which lets me believe that you're like, well, that's just me. That's just how I do things. That's just how I look at the world, right? That's just how I do things. I'm eccentric or whatever you want to say to yourself, okay? Um, because, you know, that's what we tend to do. We call ourselves eccentric or special or different because we don't want to change. Um, anyhow, I digress. So <clears throat> this is your, you're missing an opportunity based on, based on you not wanting to change and blaming it on something different. Like this is how I handle things, but the risk is still being presented to you. The risk is here to get you out of that idea that this is how I am literally there to get you out of that energy, but it's up to you to take it. There's so many possibilities in your life and there's so many possibilities in the world for you to make changes. You just have to want to make them Gemini, right? No one can make you do anything you don't want to. You're solely your own person, you know? So, sorry, as we move forward, then we have the five of cups and we're in the divine matrix. So this is that in between of uh, the universe wants you to know that something's going to change for the better, but you don't see it because you don't see the tangible -ness or why or it doesn't make any sense to you, you know, but you should just do it is what it is. The five of cups here is like, so you're not. You're not taking a risk on something and missing that opportunity. And little do you know, you're missing out on an opportunity to be happy. You're missing out on an opportunity for something that's going to take you to a different place than, than how you're feeling now emotionally. Because I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, emotionally, it looks a little rough. Um... And I don't, I don't want you to get grounded or used to feeling that way and think that that's how you're supposed to feel, okay? All right. So, 
The Three of Wands is about taking the action uh, to change your mindset or how you've been doing things. You know, there's a, you staying in the middle because it's more comfortable, because you know what's going to happen. You know, if you stay in steel in one spot, you know what everything looks like from that spot. You know what this building looks like. You know what this road looks like to this side. You know what's behind you. You know what's on this side, right? If you take a step, that perspective changes. You're a little bit closer to this building. You're a little bit further away from this road. You know, blah, 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 blah. And you're scared of what that new perspective or that new life is going to look like for you when you do that. But the universe wants you to step out of that shield because it, it's, it's becoming a shelter for you. And here's we go. Here's come. Here comes the cave. It's becoming a cave for you. It's becoming a safety spot for you for protection. But you don't want anything to get in to hurt you. But at the same time, you can't get out. If that makes any sense. It's like you're, you're blocking yourself in to protect yourself. But you can't get out. That's that vulnerability. Sometimes we have to be vulnerable. We have to try things new. And you do this for yourself, self-respect. You do this for yourself, for your own health and self, whatever. Okay, so it is what it is. The thing is, uh, in order to start the fire, in order to start things from happening, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to believe in something you have to drive towards something otherwise nothing will happen you have to take the effort especially with the seven of wands and the three of wands being here you can't look at this as a negative or that you're going to lose something you have to look at it as you're going to gain something it's it's funny how a change in your mindset or a change in perspective can change everything so you can say i can step off this cliff and there could be nothing there and I could fall to my death. Or you could say, I can step off this cliff and there could be a boulder here. And that boulder will stop me from falling all the way. Maybe money under that boulder. I don't know. I don't know your life, right? But it just depends on how you look at things. Okay? So then we have the high, pri the, the high priestess is beautiful because this is your subconscious. Subconsciously, you know that your situation is not ideal, okay? Um, you know that you need to take the risk, but at the same time, you're making excuses with, oh, my cave is fine. I'm fine in my cave. I'm protected, right? But there's so much out there for you. You can't see it if you're in the cave. You can't take the risk if you're in the cave. Yes, it's uncomfortable. You don't want to do it, but it is what it is. Know that there's good coming from the from out of that, okay? That's where we're going with this for right now. All right, so let's start clarifying, Gemini. Okay. So we're going to start with the Four of Cups. All right, we have the Queen of Cups, the Chariot, and the Three of Swords. So, you've chosen the direction that's going to make you feel comfortable, okay? That's where you are. It's going to make me feel comfortable. I don't want to separate from this feeling of comfortability with the Three of Swords, because I don't know how that's going to make me feel. I also feel like you tried to make a step in the past. You tried to do something in the past and it failed and it hurt you and you don't want to feel hurt again. Understandable. We all get like that. But, you know, yeah, it, it's like you lost your umph. You lost your power. You lost your warrior ability or whatever. That, that's not a thing. But, you know, you lost your umph, I guess. So with the hair font, we have Queen of Wands in reverse, High Priestess Justice in reverse. Wow, wow, wow. So this mindset that you have, 
and the past is not really helpful to you at all it's solely based on your ego at this point because you're just like all i got is me <laughs> right which is not necessarily true but that's what we tell ourselves sometimes after we got hurt so um you have an opportunity to open up that perspective you do uh, if you allow your ego if your ego allows you to do that okay um because you're going to see that this way or this way that you have chosen is unjust you're just manipulating your emotions because you don't want to expose them pretty much okay so the fool we have the tower in reverse the ten of wands and the seven of pentacles Okay, the reason why you're not taking risks, even though you know, this is the thing, Gemini, you're not stupid. And you know that the world, the universe, everything, there are thousands of possibilities, millions of possibilities, different roads that you can go down. The next day, you can take a different way to work it and meet a friend that you'll have for 20 years. You know, like the whole, the world is interesting. There's lots of things to do there. Um... You're scared of change right now because you're already in a heavy situation. It's like you already got a lot on your plate. You already got a lot of things going on in your mind. You don't really know. You don't. It's like, I don't want to add anything that's going to be bad. I'll add some stuff that's good. That's fine. But I need to know that it's going to be good before I start trying to add things. Right. You're investigating the things that you're investing in the thing is when you investigate when you take your time you slow down you're not taking those opportunities you're waiting you're waiting due to fear and you're not making choices so things are staying the same okay okay five of cups we have the nine of cups in reverse the ace of wands in reverse and the five of wands in reverse Um, you really need to see what it is that you do have. You're really focused on all the things that you don't have, that you need to focus on the things that you do have. That's, I'm definitely hearing that right now. Um, you're overindulging in the negativity of all things. You know, and the things around you in your energy. You're thinking about all the things that's been taken away from you. All the things that you don't have. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, and you're losing your fight to want more. You're losing your fight to crave more things. You're losing your fight to take risks. Because of that. Three of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, um, you need to take action towards the things that you want in your life or towards the change that you want. It's going to help actually release burdens by adding another one. I know that sounds really weird. But it, it yes, you got a lot going on, but it's like you need to do something or initiate something in order to lighten the, the load. If that makes any sense, it really doesn't, but that's what's happening. Um, it's like you need to take a new adventure or do a new way, change the direction, try something different. Um, I feel like at first it's not going to feel very secure. It's not going to feel very, it doesn't feel like it's something that you want to do, but it's going to be good in the long run. <laughs> I'm going to just say it like that. Two of Swords. Ten of Cups, Magician in Reverse, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're trying to find happiness in what it is that you got going on right now. But at the same time, you don't feel in control. Maybe you feel like someone else is manipulating you uh, or, or making... I don't want to say manipulating, but making you do something... That's going to make them happy, but not you, you happy. It's like you're looking at it that way instead of looking at it in a different way. Because um, I feel like 
whoever this is, they're like, mm. you just feel like you're being manipulated into somebody trying to get what they want or to be happy. It's like they're not thinking about your happiness. They're only thinking about theirs. That's how you're looking at it. Why is that? Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're so worn out and defending yourself. You're so worn out and defending yourself that you don't see that. Okay. It's almost like you just want to stop fighting. You're done. You you just want to accept everything for how it is and then just kind of coast through where you are right now. The thing is, you have to like see this as an offer or opportunity to change to do it, to start a new direction. Um, pentacles are about things that grow and things that last. So you're going to start a way, a mindset, a way of living that's going to last here. It's going to be good. It, it is going to change the way that you've been doing things and what you believe in, which may be a little bit hard. Two more cards. Yeah, it's going to clear up a lot of confusion, though, for you. You won't be so, I feel like you won't be so worried. Because a lot of the illusion and confusion will be taken away from you. Um, you won't be so worried about where you're, where you're going here in your life. It's like you're more in the flow now. Your subconscious has been telling you to do this for a very long time. Um, you haven't really been utilizing everything that you're able to be in your life. You really haven't. You've just kind of settled in the situation you're in. You're like, well, I'm just going to be here. I'll make it work for myself. It's not, it's not really helping you grow. It's not changing you, your situation, your life which is what you truly want and truly desire. So Gemini, all in all, it's time to face your fears. It's time to do the thing. It's time to make the decision. It's time to stop being your own worst enemy. Put it into this cycle so you can start a new one, right? Because right now, there's a sense of codependency. It's like a woe is me, a victim mentality. Instead of working with the status quo working with spirit working with whoever um you've decided to be codependent on the situation and not really do anything and that's going to change if you want to be successful if you want to be successful it's going to have to change but that's up to you so let's pull some cards so we have inspiration. The mind is everything. What you think you become, Buddha. Beautiful. And I'm going to tell you why that's beautiful. Because I told you that your mindset, the way that you look at things, okay, was how this is going to play out. You can be comfortable in that cave all you want to, right? But again, you won't be able to get out. We have harmony. I know in my heart that when something is right, it feels easy and breezy, even though that sounds cheesy. With this in mind, I banish all stress, insecurity, and tedious work for my relationships. Then I invite harmonious relationships into my life and let them show up in their own time. Easy, breezy things are rarely punctual. Okay. Beautiful spectacular great reading for you very long though <laughs> so gemini i'll talk to you later i love you bye, -bye.